Hello, my fire signs. Welcome to my channel, The Healing Butterfly. I am your intuitive reader and medium lady day. This is your 2023 reading. Um, so take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. All right, they are broken down by each sign. We're gonna start off with Aries, then move into Sag and end in Leo. We're gonna talk about just some overall 2023 energy, right? Then we're gonna get into some healing and life purpose some love and romance and soulmate, and then we'll end in some spiritual messages and guidance from your spirit team. So if this uh, reading happens to resonate for you, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and to share with those who may also be able to pick up some wisdom from one of these videos, okay? Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you are interested, I have a few things going on on my Etsy shop of divination tools and decks. By all means, stop by and take a look. All right, so let's get into it. Starting with my Aries. We have the community card and mending. Okay, I have not looked at these cards. Okay, so I'm just going to go off set by set to see what we what we got going on. I do feel like there's one person particularly that maybe you feel like you need to either put in their place or put a boundary up against and or maybe this person is also starting to see that you're growing into who you are, right? You're mending and and, and maybe forgiving people for what they've done to you. You're letting go of the past. Um, you've grown into a brand new person. You can see things from a higher perspective. You have a new level of maturity. And I feel like one particular person, I'm not sure if you can kind of see this face, it's almost like as God, universe, or maybe even you've been crowned with something you've graduated um you've received some type of certification something like that like you've bossed up in some type of level almost feel like there's a friend or family member or someone who was really close to you maybe also have might have sheltered you or maybe felt like a support system felt like a shoulder that you could cry on is now starting to be like a little sad because it's like wow are you going to change or how does this change us or we are changed or something like that i don't know if it's a level of jealousy sometimes this person feels like they don't want to be jealous of you right but it's like i don't want things to change if that makes any sense right maybe this is someone who you did have maybe some rough times with a friend a family member mother father and it's like now that y'all have mended it's like now it's time for you to move on with your life it's time for you to grow into that next person you're supposed to be and i feel like there are some people in your community who are going to like miss you a lot and they just don't know how to like digest that energy but there's one particular person and it could be, a, a like I said, a mother figure, father figure, or just someone who's like a best, best friend or your favorite cousin, your favorite aunt or uncle. And they just feel like, you know, they feel really out of the loop or out of the cold or that they will be out of the loop and out of the cold when it comes to your life. Okay. Wow. I have the three of cups. Newsworthy of, yeah, celebrating, joyful announcements, engagements, pregnancy, graduation, a time for gratitude, close communities or chosen family. So again, it's like they're celebrating the happiness, but it's kind of bittersweet because what does that mean? You know what I mean? What does that mean in the future for us, for our connection? Something like that. I have release endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. So maybe someone doesn't understand, you know, the fact that you want this grand life. I don't know why I'm saying grand life, but maybe there's a certain lifestyle that you see yourself living that this other party may think that it's so far-fetched and un unobtainable from their lens. And when I say from their lens, not from their lens for you, from their lens for themselves. So maybe you are triggering someone to kind of look at life as more than just the day-to-day -day mundane work and pay bills, right? You're igniting something around the people around you as well. So I will say continue to move forward. And if that means that you have to release some people, because some people, it's one of those things, right, that we say, you sometimes you have to love people for where they are and who they are right here, right now. Not the potential of what we want them to be or we've prayed to God to ask them to to become right. We have to just accept them for their decisions and their free will that they've chosen at this moment. Balance. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. So again, it's like I'm going to take your feedback that, yeah, I just graduated and I got a good job and, you know, I probably don't need to set off and, and you know, buy my own house because that's going to take money. But I want to do that because that means that I'm growing and I'm being responsible and I'm taking taking and tackling life as it's coming to me. Where others may want you to be more cautious and, well, hold on, don't move too quick. And I don't know if this is moving too quick to someone, 
right? Because I have the Ace of Wands here, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action and do what you're passionate about. And that passion may be a person. It could be a job. It could be a hobby. It could be a lot of different things. But you are stepping into your King of, of Wands energy, male or female, motivational, inspiring. Like I said, the people around you are feeling this energy. Theatrical, ambitious, take a leadership role, step into the spotlight, public speaking, keeping your eyes on the big picture, communicate your vision, and don't be sensitive to criticism. Again, with the balancing out and the release, whatever it is that has sparked some passion inside of you, whatever it is that has kind of turned up the energy for you to go after life, tackle life for what it means for you. It's just time to set out and do that. And anyone who is coming in between that next step in your life towards abundance and happiness and joy, it's time to release them, right? Or release the expectations that they're always gonna be there to support you because we don't always wanna release our friends and family, but sometimes we have to release the expectation that they're gonna be happy for us, okay? All righty, let's see here. So let's start with the healing energy is the dreams. And the courage. It's like whatever the courage that you may start seeing threes. Three, three, three will let you know that you're on the right path. One, one, one is going to tell you that you need to take action. And one, two, three, four or five, 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 seven, seven, seven possibly will just confirm that you are on the right path, right direction and you are protected. But right now they're asking you in 2023, it's time to take courage to make your dreams come true. And again, I don't, I almost feel like I want to make someone's dreams come true, right? I don't know if someone wants to come in and bless you with something really big, or if you're looking to maybe bless someone else. And I honestly feel like someone wants to get engaged this year. I can't let this go that I feel like I'm, I'm I want to make someone like I want to have the biggest surprise ever. And and again, we have the, the, the wands energy out here, even though you are a fire sign. Weddings, engagements, right? That's what came up in this card here. Weddings and engagements. Somebody is ready to take that. So maybe that's what the friends and family, they think that you're moving too quick. Maybe you're going to meet someone and the pregnancy or the engagement is going to happen very quickly. But you're like, but I know I love this person. I know this is the person I want to marry, want to be with. So be on the lookout if you are able and, you know, to still have children, things of that nature, or possibly just not engaged, not married yet, whatever that means for you, you know where you're at. <laughs> All right. And then as far as the life purpose cards, I have flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. Some of you, it may actually be flowers. You may actually like flowers and gardening and being outside. Others of you, I'm getting this metaphor of like, it's like a flower, petal by petal, right? As you start to open up to yourself. So maybe someone's um, opening up emotionally, right? Others may be opening up to different hobbies. Others may be opening up their self-esteem, putting themselves out there more, flirting more, going out to different places and spaces. So whatever this means to you, it's almost like kind of putting yourself more out there and displaying and growing. One leaf, one petal at a time, you just start to open up until you're this beautiful flower um somebody may also resonate with lotus maybe when you meditate you see a lotus flower or you have a some type of lotus pillow something like that oracle cards you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others um take this as it resonates some of you actually will find yourselves buying affirmation cards maybe not tarot maybe not what you want to call oracle cards but i do see something like affirmation cards um or an affirmation book, a journal. But in those moments, right, there's going to be a connection to your higher self and spirit to where you this year, it's going to happen before June. If you put in the time to spend the time with spirit, it'll happen before June that you're going to start to heal your here, heal, thank you, heal so that you can hear your higher self, giving you direction, giving you creative notes, giving you insight, giving you direction, letting you know who's protecting you. There's going to be another level of tapping into your spiritual journey here. Some of you may also be gifted in foresight, like you almost like that's so raven, like you see kind of glimpse of things happening before they're going to happen, or you get this big nervous energy. Some of you get like this big nervous energy that you know something's going to, and it's like tells you that you need to leave, something like that. Okay. If not, some of you will be more open to 
uh, watching more more tarot reading. Some of you are now to that level where you want to actually go and uh, book a personal reading. Um, if I resonate with you, by all means, I do offer personal readings. The cal Calendly link is in my info. But I do feel y'all at minimum opening up to like connecting to spirit and really receiving messages, whether it's actually with cards or you just sitting in a quiet space or you possibly even journal journaling. Ugh. All right. So moving on to love and soulmates, according to Greek, you got the, this is the twin flame card. According to Greek mythology, humans were created, originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other half. Okay. I felt like this when I seen the mending card that someone, right, from your past may want to come back. So I have the talking. Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't go that way. Thank you, spirit. So someone mirrored, thank you, spirit just has to put it in the storyline for me. Mirroring, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflect our wounds and introspection, right? With the lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. This, I feel like for my Aries has happened twice. The first time was when the person that I feel like that you want to mend and have clarity and truth with, take it if it resonates, if it doesn't, leave it there. But there might be someone that you may have walked away from, right? Because you maybe you thought that they were trying to control your life or tell you what to do. You might have dated someone who was older than you, possibly. Um, and whatever it was, this feedback that they were giving you, I don't know that you were taking it in the way that they were meaning it. And or they were not speaking it, right? In the right tones or explaining themselves ap appropriately. Whether that's you to them or them to you. Reverse the roles if you need be. But after someone walked away, I feel like to either stay in their state, whether they stayed single or they went to dating or they went to someone else, whatever they decided, I feel like that mirrored to them that they maybe should have been a little more patient, understanding. Like whatever happened in this other relationship or this other decision to stay single, it was like a, a trigger of loneliness, a trigger of, damn, what did I do, right? So I do feel like those who went towards a relationship... That relationship is now over. No second chances grow and transform your life. Maybe someone went towards an ex. Or maybe someone feels like the person that they walked away from won't give them another opportunity, right? I have the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And then I have talking, interested, conversing more, awaited messages arrive, text, call, email, and hovering. So again, I do feel like the person that was left to the past because somebody got triggered to heal some wounds, right? That person that was triggered is either fearful that they'll never get the opportunity, even though they want to give clarity, they want to give truth, they want to talk to this person, or they disconnected from a false situation that they ran to, and now they want to come back and give some type of clarity and truth, right? Those who feel like they were ghosted or done wrong, I do feel like you're in an energy of, I'm just done with this. And the truth and clarity that I got from the type of love that I deserve is why I'm out there looking for my soul's match. I know that who was in the past was supposed to stay there. I know that I mended myself and healed myself for my own good. And I'm ready for either that person to find me or for me to find my person. For those who are waiting for this person to come back to talk, I do feel like there's a talk, but it's a talk with a closed door. Like 80% of y'all, I feel like, are going to talk to this person, but close the door. It's like just for us to be able to move on with our lives. I'm not feeling a very strong, strong, we're all coming back together energy, right, for a lot of people. Because of how it happened, I'm hearing, how you, how you, how you did it, you know, how you just up and left me, okay? But at the end of the day, there's a soul's match out there for you is what I want you to know wherever you land in this in this scenario that I just brought up. And that, again, if you keep moving forward with this, the sword and the rose, the truth, the clarity, you know, stepping into your power, protection and boundaries, things of that nature. I feel like love is right there for you. You have a soul's mate. You have a twin flame somewhere. OK, I'm not going to say twin flames. We're not on a, on a twin flame journey, but you do have a soulmate, someone who really resonates with you. All right. I have gratitude. I love acknowledging all the little things I am grateful for. No matter what I have going on, 
I always have things to be grateful for. Whenever I feel upset, I can fill up a page with the things I appreciate. This begins to shift my mood and focus on to that which brings me joy. Opportunities for growth. Everything is happening for me and my evolution. I am not a victim of the things that happen. I take ownership of my life and make the best of the challenges along my journey. I see how difficult moments help me to become my best version and I am thankful for them. So yeah, I do feel like some of this, again, it's almost like a child saying bye, right? I'm going off to college. I'm going to that next level and being grateful for the things that have happened. Good, bad, ugly, and indifferent. And yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. And that's a wonderful way to end your session. Love it. All right, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this gave you some insight that you were seeking for 2023. Sending y'all lots of positive vibes. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share with your friends, family, and loved ones that may need a little bit of this wisdom. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. Namaste. All right. Sag, you're up. Start with your general 2023. We'll go into your healing and life purpose. Talk about a little love and then end on spirit. All right. So first two cards out are happy, happy. And message in a bottle. So I feel this is like two ways. I feel like I received some information or I connected with someone or I seen someone online and I noticed just how happy they are. But I also want to let this person that I'm now happy or that I'm now um, available to be happy. What's available to be happy? I'm emotionally available. So someone might have um, wanted to connect with someone to kind of give them good news about the growth that they've had. Like, I almost feel like there's a conversation of, well, while I was away from you, I seen you grew and I just want to let you know all the great things that I have going on. This may be with a lover. This could be with a friend. This could be with a family member. I also feel like I'm, I'm getting another storyline of someone actually receiving a message that's going to allow them to have the conversation with the person. So maybe someone's waiting for an approval on a loan or the offer from a job or some type of something that someone's been working for very very diligently that's going to i guess set off this lifestyle or this new financial stability that they've been wanting something that's going to allow them to either be financially free or emotionally free or something they've been waiting for that final smack of the gavel so maybe somebody has some legal things that they need to take care of that's getting ready to birth and once they get over this barrier once they figure out whatever this court case is or whatever it is they can finally go to the person that, they, that they're watching be happy without them. May not resonate for everyone. If it's not, it's almost like I'm, I'm like manifesting and I'm physically daydreaming of what my life is going to be like when this is all freaking done. Right? Even if you're, even if you're someone who's not running towards someone, it's like I'm, vis I'm either envisioning my life with someone and being very happy or I'm just envisioning my life and the happiness that my life is going to be once I receive this final word that I know is coming, right? I have the two of pentacles, working too hard on multiple jobs, the need to balance. Wow. The need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple um, priorities and balancing the budget. The four of cups. Failing to recognize a ma magical opportunity, missing the point, the distractions of daily life, discontent or boredom, lost in your own world, wake up. Victory, wise choices that bring recognition, success, promotions, awards, or scholarships. And then the hermit, time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example, seek out or become a spiritual mentor, self-discovery. So someone has been juggling an option, juggling life juggling making the right decisions juggling finally taking that next step and it's like every time a, an opportunity or something has been per, I'm, I'm hearing from 2020 to 2022 from 2020 to 2022 you may have been presented maybe let's say it, it was an opportunity to because this would have been something that would have challenged somebody so i'm not here to rub anyone the wrong way um, it would have been like, oh, I can become the director, but in order to become the director, I got to sign on for this year and a half program and they want me to do this and that and the third. And I just might as well just stay at this senior level and just stay where I'm at. And it's like, but you do know that director level comes with like a 
40% increase on your salary and your benefits are going to be 100% covered. Yeah, but it's like a year and some change and I got to go back and do this. And it's like, yeah, but do you not see the long, like the, the big payout? And so I don't know what that may mean for you. It may not be that big of a deal. It may be something a lot smaller to where it's like, dang, I missed out on that opportunity. Uh, 2000. So 000. 2000 is what I just 20 on, on the mark. Again, I'm not sure what that may mean for you, but it's like whenever these moments, you know, where it's like I'm not sure what to do and and I'm and I play it too safe or I play it, you know, I don't play it right or I'm whatever this means. I'm either playing it too safe or I'm afraid to jump out on faith or what does that mean to even have faith? Like there's all these thoughts <laughs> and back and forth and I'm sorry. I end up feeling like I missed out on something. And maybe this has happened multiple times from 2020 to 2022. That I end up having this hermit mode where I end up pulling away from people because it's like, why is things happening for others and not for me? And it's like spirit is saying, because you have to you have to claim the victory, right? You have to make wise choices that put you out there in the in the right places and spaces with the right people. There's something that's coming for you, some type of promotion, some type of new job, some type of something. But it's only going to happen once I feel like you stand your ground. Because this is giving me very like seven of wands, standing my ground, making sure that no one else can take what I know is mine. So there's definitely something in that. And I didn't do this for anyone else, but I will pull a few more um, tarot cards. Because I feel like, you know, you might be all in your head and not seeing the opportunities that are presenting. Two more cards, Spirit. Clarify this further. Give me clarity. Someone may also have been trying to connect with you. I need true jumpers only. Or you've been trying to connect with them, letting them know what the spiritual journey really is all about, right? Ooh. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Six of coins. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance. Borrowing wisely or paying off debt. Sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So whatever you've done, right? Because you have a... I feel like this... This energy that I'm in has good heart. Y'all mean good. Y'all mean well. But it's almost like you second guess whether or not to really step out there on faith. And that may be because something happens like friends and family start to lean on you more than normal. And so you feel like you have to be there. And the reason why I say that is I got the Ten of Swords. It looks like he's ready to pack his shit up and leave. Like I'm ready to leave this city, this town, this family, this, what, this dynamic. It doesn't serve me. I, I'm ready to go be happy somewhere else, right? The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. A weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction. A melodramatic reaction. So yeah, when it's time, when you get that call that says that you're released to go find your happiness or go claim your happiness, everyone's not going to be happy and that's okay, right? Because they're your decisions. You're going towards your happiness. You're not looking. So the people pleasing, if that's something that you know is you, even in, in the smallest little increment, that's something also the spirit wants you to look at. And lastly, I have the Knight of Pentacles. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. And I think this is the part. It's like you plan and plan and plan. I feel like this energy I'm in, like you will plan something down to the socks, baby. But then it's like, okay, now it's time to put in the action. It's like, well, let me just go over things one more time. And then we keep going over things one more time. And next thing you know, like one more time turns into 80 more times. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Okay. You definitely are guided of when to step out there, but it's more like just, just do it. Just go and End whatever needs to be end and start whatever needs to be started, okay? All right. So let's go into the healing message. I have sexuality and I have selling out. And right away, spirit just goes, sometimes somebody goes towards something hot and heavy and passionate, something that's physically attractive to the eye, and they end up selling out a, a love interest. They end up selling out something that they are in love with. Even if you are married and you're happily married and or you're with someone and you're happily with someone, someone ends up either selling out their dreams, their goals for the corporate job. Someone is a slave to this, you know, this contract because it pays a lot of money when really they want to go towards being a drummer or the trumpet player or they want to go and do meditation retreats with people like it's something about you know going towards i don't want to say low vibrational right i just want to say what doesn't seem true to self it might 
it's like it's almost like a, a roller coaster ride. It's like small. It's like payouts that are really fun and really you know um, you know really exciting, but it's not. It's not a. It's not like it's. It's a memory in time. It's a flash. It's a. It's a moment. It's not long and lingering and loving and and something I can grow off of. It's just like a, a good time for a moment of time. You know, it's almost like I get paid this check and on payday, I'm ecstatic. But every other workday, I feel like this. Like someone's just ripped all the feeling of goodness up out of me. Like life is just mundane and boring. Okay, so whatever that may mean for you, it could be a person. You might have felt like you sold one person out to go towards someone who you thought was more fun and, and exciting and, and would bring more, not knowing that there's... You see that snake? Right? And all I can think of is the fact that, like, does someone have a, a lip... <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Does someone have a, a lip piercing, a facial piercing, um, a mole on their face, or they just have very kind, sensitive, patient, angelic is what I just heard, eyes? It's almost like you make this. I'm, I'm also hearing that maybe you may have made this person or this situation out to be a victim. It's like, even if it's something as simple as like, I love to fish. I want a competitive fish, but I got to go back to work. It's like, if I wasn't out there damn fishing, I would have finished this. It's like, but you're supposed to be out there damn fishing. You're supposed to be out there getting one with yourself and not becoming a slave to your computer and your laptop and your corporate. Okay. So whatever that means, whether it's love or something else. All right, so I have talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Study, reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career and infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Somebody, um, let's say you enjoy cooking, right? You enjoy baking. I love to bake, but I don't really know what how many ounces are in a pound and I don't really know what a pound of butter would really be. And I don't know, you know, I don't know measurements and I don't know. It's like, OK, well, let's get let's get studying then, because at the end of the day, baking is all about chemical reactions. Like you're going to have to get a little deeper. So if there's something that let's say you, you have a career in right now, you work at a bakery, but you're always on cashier. It's like, OK, well, let me start spending time with the baker and actually find out more of this information. Maybe I need to go online and figure out, you know, what measurements are and how to do conversions of measurements and things of that nature. And it's like it's spirit universe is asking you, honestly, to ask them for more insight of how you go about obtaining that next level. Um, I almost want to talk about cars for a second. It's almost like, you know, I'm a I'm great salesman, but I really want to know what it would take to open my own dealership and maybe have certain type of unique sports cars or something like that. It's like, what do I need to do to get there? And it's like, whatever that is of taking this, um, whatever you enjoy about your job to that next level, it's time for you to definitely look maybe to um, either a mentor, community college, something to that nature. It's only going to pay off in, in, in leaps and bounds. I feel like you're going to end up owning something yourself or, you know, being able to put your own spin on things, even if you are working for a company. Okay. Soulmate energy is you are on your way to, on your way to meeting your true love. I feel like someone has already either sparked in you love or sparked that they may be your lover. Ooh. Oh my goodness, Becky. And I don't mean that because your name might really be Becky. So I apologize if that was offensive. Didn't I tell y'all there go that snake? Every time somebody succumbs to the sexuality, which could be anything that you feel a slave to, there goes the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder in the other woman or the other man. This is someone who or something that keeps pulling you back just when you're ready to set out there and claim the heart that you... Whose heartbeat? Somebody's laying on someone's chest or someone has someone laying on their chest and it's like our hearts are beating the same or you felt you had a moment with someone where it was like your hearts were beating the same or you felt someone's heart or something like that. I can feel it in my own chest. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, strung along in one night stand. So again, with this sexuality energy, this snake energy, like, I don't know if, if you're the one keeping them always around or if they always keep you as a back pocket. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I feel like someone who thinks that they're getting over on this sexual energy is really getting over on, on the other person. So let's just say, okay. Energy keys on the ring, that's what we're going to call it. Energy keys on the ring has true love 
and wants true love but keeps this this other energy this snake energy around because every now and again i kind of want to get da 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 i want to live that life i want to see if i still got it and in, 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 in retrospect, if this was a corporate situation, it's like I'm going towards my life dreams versus being a slave to every time they offer me, you know, a little extra money, a little extra this or that. OK. I almost feel like I'm I'm in charge of keeping this snake in my back pocket all along. This snake has been playing this keys on the ring energy the entire time. I know you're ready to leave my corporate company. I can see you're stressed out. I see how overworked you here. Take these couple pennies and be quiet and, and stay on the job, right? I can see that you love somebody else. I can see that your heart is with somebody else, but I know how to do that one thing and I got that one thing on you. So somebody may have somebody's secrets. My nose is itching, yep. Somebody may have some secrets of somebody's. And it's like, so whenever I want to call you back, I call you back. Someone also may um, play with dark magic. You don't, keys on the ring energy might not think that this person plays with dark magic. And this is in the love territory. I don't really feel like this is corporate. Either way, Cupid's arrow hit, right? So whether you were the person who was kept as one of many options and somebody went towards someone else and now you're looking forward to future love, have faith that love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. If you're the person who's ready to disconnect from the snake energy to go towards the person that you love, you may be trying to figure out how you can surprise this person because you know that they're still single. Girl talk, guy talk, either way. Time with friends, moving on, happily single and living in the moment and having fun. So even if this person doesn't bring you, doesn't take you back, this true love that you were going towards, because we are talking about love at the end of the day, you're still going to move on and be ha ha happily single as long as you can disconnect from the snake energy. And to be honest, I I'm just heard this very weird, eerie door <clears throat> open up. You disconnecting from this, it's either going to bring this lover back or it's going to bring a love to you and it's going to happen quick. But this is the reason why new love opportunities have not come back in. If you're the person that was kept as one of many options, you need to leave that person with their snake so that this new person can come in. Okay. Hope that made sense. There's a lot going on there with that love situation. All right, I have fuel. I do, oh, I enjoy doing things that fuel me. It feels great to do things for myself. When I make <laughs> when I make sure I am taken care of, I can better show up for those in my life and for the work that I do. Coming back to that balance of, you know, enjoying your hobbies, not just work, 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 right? Wow, new adventures. Today I open myself up to new adventures. I go out and do something I've been holding back from. I move through the fear rather than let it control me. I trust my intuition and follow my desires and subconscious mind. I realize that subconscious beliefs or programs may be holding me back from my desires. For example, if I want money, I may have been told things growing up that I am subconsciously holding on to. So I go back to my past and release beliefs that no longer align, substituting them for new ones. The past, right? All right, then something from your spirit guides. The way forward is open. You're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. That's a beautiful way to end your reading too. All right, my Sag, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that gave y'all some good insight for your 2023 reading. Um, stay strong. Claim back your life. Go and study the thing you've been wanting to study. Go and start the business you've been wanting to start. Go and claim the love of your life if that's what it's calling you to do. Or go ahead and let go and release the people of the past so that new love can come and find you, right? All right, my loves. Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Namaste. All righty. Leo, Leo, let's get to it let's start with your 2023 overall information we'll move into your healing and life purpose love and romance and all those things and end with spirit okay all right so your first couple cards out leo is flexible okay. here and now oh yeah and co-create um i'm also getting the energy of um reach the distance or go go the distance is what the other card is called. It's called go the distance. Whatever's going on, I do feel like I'm having, um, I don't know if these are back spasms or just like really, you're having root, root chakra, thank you, 
um, balancing. Some of y'all are just beginning to be open for the first time. Some of y'all are being aligned and balanced. Some of y'all, y'all have small little holes, aka like um, when you second guess things and when you're really worried about your finances and when and when am I going to get that job? And you're worried about your stability, right? You're worried about the fi the foundations, the things that we humanly need as human beings. Spirit is asking you to be flexible, but to also make sure that you're making the decisions that need to be made and you're moving forward, right? In order, I feel like it's one of those things where it's like faith without work is dead. You still have to put through or put put in something. I also feel like what, however you thought it was going to roll out, it's going to roll out differently. That's why this flexible is here. Maybe you like, okay, so this is reminding me of the last time I went through this. And this could be in love. This can be in life. This can be in family. It's like, oh, last time I dealt with auntie this way or last time a job was stringing me along. It's like, that's how it was in the past. Spirits are getting ready to show you something new. So pay attention to when you get that gut feeling that you need to do or say something. Because in that moment, in the here and now, you doing, you saying is helping you co-create and bring this energy, this blessing into your life. And there go the daggone sun card, child. The seven of swords, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions, a material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself and embarrassing secrets, right? I also have the Knight of Wands, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events requiring immediate action. That's the energy I'm feeling. Trust your instincts, stay focused, a passionate relationship. So again, when something feels not right, Seven of Swords means something's not right. Somebody's lying. Somebody ain't telling the truth. Somebody's trying to stab me in the back. Somebody's trying to steal some shit. It's like, let me go ahead and, excuse me, let me just get clarity on that. Whatever that is, friends, family, lovers, coworkers, it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Circle it back. Because I need us to go over that one more time. And that's not going to happen like that. And that, you know, it's just like sitting, putting things where they need to be, right? The King of Cups. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious. Someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe. A solid romantic relationship. Hidden but well-intentioned emotions. A charitable benefactor and seeing a counselor. And so I do feel like there is an, an, an energy of once you call people on their BS or say it like it is, or just get it done, it's going to bring either your King of Cups energy out or a King of Cups person to you, a new manager, a new lover, a new friend, something to that nature. And this is hidden but well-intentioned. This is being hidden from you because Spirit wants you to be able to discern when people are for you or against you or when things, situations, circumstances, decisions are good for you or bad for you. It's a test of your intuition in 2023. And it's going to open up the sun, a time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine. So do not be frustrated in these moments where you find these little snakes in your garden because it's up to you, right, to be able to cut out people like that and to forge forward. Don't allow anyone or anything to talk against you or to keep you stagnant, right? All right, let's get into this healing energy. Cycles. Yeah, I almost feel like I've been, remember I just said a second ago, we look at the past like, oh, I already dealt with this before, but it's something different this time. It's opening up a different door. It's challenging you in a different way. It's going to open up a different blessing, right? Self-love as well. Again, this is about you standing up for what you believe, the standing up for what you deserve. That is part of self-love. Having healthy boundaries is part, and I'm sorry, I'm getting you know really excited, but that's part of self-love. I love that for y'all. Leadership, take, that's all I keep feeling. It's like, speak up, do what's need to be done. Take the action, take charge of this situation. And energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your um, of your life purpose. And some of y'all may just be getting into like essential oils. You, you can feel yourself, um, I'm sorry, you can feel the energy moving and shifting and being lighter, airier, more positive with like essential oils, candles, incense. Some of y'all feel the energy off crystals. Some of you are listening to Reiki music or you're listening to different type of music. It's also that as well. So it's it's two parts, but it's still together for you to continue with whatever this is, your prayer lifestyle, the different type. Maybe when you wake up in the morning, it's like, I'm always going to listen to spiritual music or something like that. But definitely standing in your truth. Okay. Let's move into love. 
The more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. It is time for that self-love energy. It's time for you to open up to your truth so that your person can come in and claim you, my dear. Okay. I have, wow. Okay. So we have the karmic relationship, right? Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving yourself. This is all about self-love. Come on, Leo. Yes, Leo. Welcoming, so then from there, right, we, we move into an energy, thank you, spirit, of uh, the butterfly, sorry. <laughs> relationship evolving to the next step and healing that inner child, all of those triggers from that karmic relationship will allow us to be open to welcoming love, meeting the one, opening the heart, getting together, and meeting and conversing with someone. And really being able to, I feel like there's something about, maybe when you used to date as a teenager or in your 20s or just whenever you first started dating you know you would go to restaurants and have you know you would go putt putt and you would have all these go to the arcade and have all these cute friend that grew into love moments and I feel like that's what Leo wants to get back to they want to get back to that and if you are already married right maybe that's what it is you want to get rid of this cycles of how you've seen relationships and marriages be managed before and it's like why can't we always be kids why can't we continue to date each other like we were teenagers like why can't we get back to that and I feel like that's what's getting ready to happen for y'all okay I have creator of happiness I reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness it is not dependent on any outside source or individual there therefore I cannot be taken away it can always be found within me. It cannot be taken away. It can always be found within me. And commitment. I am committed to my growth and dreams. Wow. I set routines and habits that help me evolve into the fullest potential. Even though I may not see the physical manifestation of my desires, I know they have vibrationally manifested and are on their way to me. Co-creating. I ain't about to sit here. I'm sorry. I get really excited sometimes, y'all. And then Archangel Michael is with you now. Even though you can't see it, I am actively working on this situation. I am here and helping you. Ashe. Thank you so much, Leos. I hope that that was able to give you some insight and inspiration to your 2023. I thank y'all for stopping by. If it happened to resonate, um, please don't forget to hit that like button and to subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends, family, and loved ones that may be able to pick up some wisdom from these readings as well. And lastly, don't forget to stop by my Etsy shop. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram, okay? Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. Namaste.